Greetings, Earthlings. I have been having a heck of a time finding a microphone to review, so I don't really know what to do here, but I have a crazy idea. Hey, Alex, can you order me one of those new Amazon Basics microphones? Are you sure you want to buy an Amazon Basics microphone? You know, not really, but I think people are kind of curious about it. So that's a yes. Struth, man. Yeah, nah. Fair dinkum. Just order me one. What the fuck? Great news, guys. The EdFX driver just showed up and dropped off the microphone. So today we are reviewing this guy, the Amazon Basics Dynamic Vocal Microphone, comma, Super Cardioid. If you do want to pick this microphone kit up, it will set you back around $70. Like always, I'll throw some links down below. And for this review, I have the microphone connected directly to the Focusrite 18i 22nd Gen using an XLR to XLR cable, no 48 volts phantom power turned on, my gain set just at around 3 o'clock, and I will of course not do any kind of post-processing to the audio, but I may boost it in post, so check the doobly-doo to see what I diddly did. And now let's talk about what comes in the box. How does disappointment feel? I want you to know what my life is. <laughs> of course you are going to get the microphone. A microphone clip with 5 8 inch threading, but there is no adapter to switch between 5 8 to 3 8 inch. An XLR to quarter inch cable. And some documentations. Then as far as the build quality, the microphone feels perfectly fine. It has an all metal body as well as a metal mesh grill which feels pretty sturdy. It does have these flat edges on this side which will keep it from rolling away when you set it down on a table or anything. It has an on off switch on the side which actually fell off while I was demonstrating that it worked and underneath it the labeling is backwards. On the bottom of the microphone, you will find the XLR port, and here is what the microphone's capsule looks like when we take off the grill. Then as far as the specs, the microphone has a super cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 50 Hz to 16 kHz, a sensitivity of around negative 52 decibels, and an impedance of 520 ohms. And unfortunately, they did not provide any graphs for the frequency response or polar pattern charts, so we just have to go off of the words that they give us. What a disappointment. Now I'm spinning around the Amazon Basics microphone to 90 degrees to show you what it sounds like from this side. Continuing around the Amazon Basics dynamic vocal microphone, comma, super cardioid to show you what it sounds like from the rear. Continuing around the microphone to the second 90 degree angle, and then rotating and ending at the front. Because this is a handheld dynamic microphone, I'll pass it back and forth between my hands to show you how it does at rejecting handling noise. Now let's test the plosives on this thing. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Rip sub users. <laughs> my god. Now I'm right on top of the microphone to show you the proximity effect on this thing. Three inches off of the microphone with the mic pointed at the corner of my mouth and here's how it sounds. About one foot away from the microphone, two feet away from the microphone, and about four feet away from the microphone. Now I am typing on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. And now for the leak gamers, I am typing on the sad W keys. Poor thing. Now I want to do a very quick comparison against another very cheap handheld XLR dynamic microphone. So right now I'm speaking into the Amazon Basics Vocal Dynamic Handheld XLR, comma, Super Cardioid Microphone, and this is how it's sounding. And now I'm speaking into the Shure SM48 with the exact same gain settings at the exact same distance. Yes, it does sound quite a bit darker. That's because the Amazon Basics microphone is overboosted in the top end, but this is how the audio compares.
what were you thinking when you made this microphone? I just like answers, please. Honestly, it's an Amazon Basics handheld super cardioid XLR dynamic microphone. It shouldn't exist. I think we all need some answers here. Well, it's an Amazon Basics microphone. I don't know what any of us were expecting. But first up, in terms of pros, it does have a sensitivity of around negative 52 decibels, which for a dynamic microphone is pretty good. It also did a surprisingly good job at background noise rejection from the keyboard, and it wasn't the worst at handling noise rejection. And then in terms of cons, the microphone was absolutely atrocious with plosive rejection. The on-off switch just fell off of the microphone right out of the box, and it is somewhat expensive considering what you're getting. This is likely just a rebranded microphone that Amazon had nothing to do with the development of. So a little bit expensive for that. And now as far as my overall thoughts on the electric guitar, you get a very scooped sound, meaning there is a lot of lows and a lot of highs, which can work fairly well for more metal guitars. And for that application, I think it would work perfectly fine. Then on the acoustic guitar, I thought it sounded a bit hollow and it lacked any kind of fullness because of that scooped mid sound, so I would personally not want to use this on an acoustic. Next up for singing, I think it is just a bit too top heavy. It seems to boost a lot in the treble and air frequencies, which yields a very breathy sound to your voice, and I personally am not too keen on that sound. And lastly, for spoken word, again, you have a somewhat scooped sound when you are close on top of the microphone and engaging that proximity effect, but if you're farther away from the microphone, it has a very top heavy and gritty and nasty top end to it. So for spoken word, I really wasn't a fan of it for that application. And lastly, would I recommend this microphone? No. I think if you are buying this mic to record at home, you would be much better served with something like the Samson Q2U, the Audio-Technica ATR2100 USB, or the AT2005 USB. All of those microphones are XLR and USB microphones, so you can actually plug them directly into your computer right out of the box and get recording. And if you're looking at this microphone for stage use, I guess it could work, but I am a little bit reluctant to trust this thing because the on-off switch fell off the microphone right out of the box. I would personally pick up something like the SM48, which yes, is a little bit darker. It's not as overboosted in the top end, but I know that Shure's microphones can take a real beating and they'll keep going. I wouldn't be so sure about the Amazon Basics mic. All right, that's gonna wrap up for today. So if you found this video fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a big old thumbs down. Want more videos? Click that subscribe button beneath the video. And if you wanna be one of these amazing people listed to my left, go ahead and click that join button to become a member and join at the $5 tier. That helps me continue to bring you these videos and keeps me motivated during the dark and disappointing times. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Bye.